times. I'm grading your FRQs and a lot of you are missing these. So part of that is my bad because I only covered this real quick a few times. But task verbs, it's what in the sentence tells you how you should be answering it. There is a bunch of them. Calculate, describe, explain, identify, justify, make a claim, propose a solution. Now the easiest one is identify. You just the this is x or one example is y they ask you a straight up question on the personal progress check frq2 that you got one of the questions was what is an example of a pioneer species identify that would be an example of a pioneer species is moss or lichen or algae etc it's just one sentence it is done <coughs> Describe is one step up. If it was describe what a pioneer species is, you'd have to explain that a pioneer species is uh, the first organisms that colonate a new area. Let's say there's been a glacier that moved through and it scraped off all the soil. The pioneer species would be the moss that moves in first to help create that new soil. That's describe. You add a little bit more. Explain. Explain is the next step where you go beyond describe. You explain why that matters, why the pioneer species has to make soil in order for other organisms to show up. Why can't trees just be the first thing? Well, trees need soil that's already been established. Soil doesn't form spontaneously. It requires those pioneer species to move in and die and decompose and their remains turn into that soil. Okay, and then justify is one of the more advanced ones. These questions don't come up super often, but if they do, you need to try your best because these are probably worth multiple points in this FRQ. But uh, you have to make a claim. You're not just making identifying information. You have to say, this will happen, or it is this because, and then whatever your claim is. And then you have to back it up. It's not just make the claim. That's down here. Make a claim. You just make a claim. Justify, you have to explain why your claim matters, how you came to that conclusion. Calculate just means math. When you see calculate, write down your steps. Make sure it's in the lined section. If you make a mistake, that's fine. Just put a line through it. Keep going. Uh, if it's not in the lined section of the FRQ response paper, it is not graded. And then finally, propose a solution. You will have an FRQ, guaranteed, where you have to propose a solution to an environmental problem. Where you're going to have to use your background knowledge, things that I've taught you or that you've picked up on your own, to come up with a solution. Uh, it has to be based on evidence and knowledge. For example, uh, propose a solution to reducing atmospheric carbon dioxide emissions. You can't just say, stop driving cars. That's not a valid solution because it's not possible. People have to drive. Now a possible solution would be, let's say, provide tax incentives for people to carpool or use public transportation instead. That's a valid solution. And then you would just give a little evidence about why that would matter. Well, okay, people taking public transportation or carpooling means fewer cars on the road per capita, which means fewer overall emissions. It's easier to have 100 cars driving with 300 people in it than having 300 cars with one people in each one. Task verbs, pay attention to them. This round of FRQs, when I graded them, I was very lenient. If it said describe and you just identified, I still gave you the point. But going forward, pay attention to these task verbs. You have to explain. There's nothing worse than having the content knowledge, but not meeting the criteria for describe, and then College Board doesn't give you the points. You guys know this stuff. Don't lose your points because you want to go quickly. Take your time. You have plenty of it. Use your task groups.